organization is niche is of the instrument or commodities you trade and explain why they were your choice. Firstly, Future Crude Palm Oil, FCPO. FCPO was the first derivative instrument traded on the Bursa Malaysia Derivative Berhad BMDB and it is a derivative contract between a buyer and a seller to take and deliver crude palm oil CPO at a future date. For this trading simulation, we choose to trade in FCPO since it offers more benefit. FCPO helps us to speculate on price movement as a trader since we can utilize FCPO to obtain leverage exposure to CPO price changes. Trading in FCPO also allow traders to take on riskier investment with higher promise returns. FCPO can be used to manage price risk and hedge against the risk of unfavorable price movement in FCPO in the physical Next is FTSE Bursa Malaysia KLCI Futures FKLI. We also choose to trade in FTSE Bursa Malaysia KLCI Futures. FKLI is a future contract traded on BMDB and it is actively used by both the institutional and retail investor in their respective trading portfolio. The reason why we choose to trade in FKLI is the ability to short sell. Trading in FKLI allow me to short sell where we can sell first and purchase later to close out the trading position and maximize the volatility trading. We also trade in FKLI to gain the leverage exposure arising from the price volatility in the underlying FBM KLCI index. The FKLI is a more efficient way to gain quick exposure to the Malaysian stock market as it involves trading one contract only and thus has effectively eliminated the need of making multiple transactions. In executing our assignment, we delve into a comprehensive research and meticulous analysis, prioritizing profit optimization and risk mitigation within the dynamic markets of future crude palm oils FCPO and FTSE Bursa Malaysia KLCI Futures. FKLI, our task encompass pre trading foundational facets, including the application of fundamental analysis and the reaction to market influences from reputable sources such as The Age Malaysia and News Straits Times. Beyond our fundamental analysis, strategic decisions were shaped by insights from reputable sources guiding us through both short and long positions. Expert opinions from future trading articles further refine our skills, offering valuable tips and procedural steps. Additionally, our approach heavily featured the systematic application of technical analysis, employing tools like hacking action, support and resistant lines, stochastic, and more. From trading view, this nuanced analysis significantly involved our decision-making process, enhancing the overall efficacy of our trading strategy. There are two factors that determine the future price for FCPO and FKLI, which are technical analysis and fundamental analysis. Technical analysis that we analyze the future price changes by using Hacken Ashi from the chart in trading view. Some technical indicators that we use are volume, stochastics, relative strength index, simple moving average and moving average commentators, divergence. Using different indicators to see the difference in the result, whether we get a lot of profit or loss. By using charts and indicator, we will be able to make a prediction of the future price and it also will be a reference material in making a decision whether to buy, sell, or hold the stock. Fundamental analysis on 25th November 2023, the stock published a news that is entitled India as for 6 million tons of palm oil from Malaysia that says DPM. So, Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Seri Fadila Yusuf said that India's demand for CPO has increased to 6 million tons and the country's CPO's export have been operating well. This news has made us decide to trade in a long position. Next, on 29 November 2023, the H Malaysia published a news article entitled IOI Corp. First quarter, profit up 82% year over year, revenue reverse declining trend. 
So the news mentioned that in the upcoming two months in 2024, which are January and February, IOR compression expects that the price of CPO would fluctuate between RM3750 and RM4050 per ton before rising due to the possibility of harvesting destruction brought on by the monsoon season. So therefore, we decided to trade in a long position. On the same day, the H Malaysia also published a news article entitled FGV's third quarter net profit falls 86.8% on lower CPO prices. This upward trend is reinforced by the expected effects of El Nino that increased demand in India due to Diwali restocking operations and the growing farm by diesel markets, so which all contribute to a strengthened pricing environment. This news tells us to trade up CPO in a long position. Moreover, on 4 December 2023, the Agri News published a new article that entitled Palm Oil to show slightly positive price trend going into 2024. The news stated that Malaysian Rating Corporation Bill Hart expects the palm oil market to maintain a slightly positive trend until 2024, with CPO future price in the range of RM30,700 to RM4,000. 100 per ton. With this news, we decided to create FCPO in a long position as the price is expected to increase. Lastly, on 7 December 2023, the H Malaysia published a news article entitled Affirmative Policies, China Recovery to Drive Malaysia's Growth in 2024 by MIDF Research. According to them, Malaysia's economy is predicted to grow in 2024. Imran Yassi Mohd Yusof, Head of Research of MIDF Research said that commodity prices are expected to continue to be constant with the average price of crude palm oil forecast to be RM3600 per ton and the average price of green oil to be US84 which is per barrel in 2024. So this news made us trade in a long position. Next question is calculate your overall trading performance in terms of profit and loss and percentage of change performance measure using Excel calculation. So, this is our trading data and this is our record for trading which is stock price, target price and so on. We also record the profit or loss for this trading. Through the data, we can find for return on investment which is negative 22,325 ringgit and negative 22.33%. For total trading, we just get loss which is RM22,325 ringgit. For initial trading value is RM100,000 ringgit. And lastly, for total trading value, we got RM77,675 ringgit. Next, after completing the trading in the Bursa Market Peace Team, we managed to earn all profitable trades from the future trading simulation games. So, the most profitable contract out of 30 trades is FCPO January 2024, which was traded on 7 December 2023. We traded in a long position at entry price of RM3600. 76 and managed to gain RM1900 of profit. The reason of this trading decisions on this contract is a news published at the Age Malaysia on 7 December 2023 which stated that Malaysia's economy is predicted to grow in 2024 as a result of the factors of the ongoing recovery of Chinese economy, that in the introduction of affirmative government policies, the anticipated rebound in the net international trade and the potential suspension of rate hikes by the US Federal Reserve. Next, we also managed to gain profits of RM1250 and RM1225 when we traded in a long position on FCPO January 24 and FCPO March 2024 on 27 November 2023 respectively. The decision that has been made are based on the news published on 25th November 2023 at the start which is Datuk Sri Fadilah Yusof said that India's demand for CPO has increased to 6 million tons and the country's CPO's export has been operating well. 
weakness, the profit that we gain is RM575 when we traded for FCPO January 2024 in a long position on 29 November 2023. The news published by the H Malaysia helped us to trade in this position as it mentioned that in the upcoming two months in 2024, which are January and February, by the present estimated replanting program in Sabah. So it expects a slight increase in FFB production for 2024 compared to 2023 due to the few factors. We also earn a profit RM1500 with the entry price of RM3919. We traded for FCPO March 2024 on 13 November 2023 in a short position based on the value of its stock that shows a very strength which is overbought price. Several factors affect Bursa Malaysia derivative market BMDM trading methods, particularly in FCPO. The volatility and liquidity of FCPO allow us profit from price fluctuations while retaining easy market entry and exit one of our trading strength. The global demand for palm oil and its vulnerability to weather and geopolitical events give more chance a lot of information to make decisions. Knowledge of the worldwide palm oil sector, seasonal patterns and technical analytical approach make our method successful. However, our trading strategies have minimal flaws. Government regulations and economic conditions like export laws and biodiesel mandates might affect the market. We must be alert, adjust our tactics and stay educated about the dynamic FCPO market due to community-specific risks like disease outbreak and oversupply, weather risks that could affect palm oil production and market manipulation. FCPO and FKLI indication time depends on our strategy and indicator type. Momentum indicators like the RSI help us spot overbought or oversold positions. Moving average can help us see trends. Bollinger band can indicate strength changes with high or low volatility. We also use volume analysis to confirm support and resistance lines. For FCPO, which is affected by weather and geopolitics, economic data and news are crucial. We use smart um, stop loss orders, test procedures with historical data and adapt to market changes to limit risk. A variety strategy is needed to make informed commodities and index futures trades. We learn about futures and commodities market, pricing variables and trading strategies. We analyze market trends and entry exit points using fundamental and technical analysis. Diversify portfolios and define stop loss order to mitigate risk. We follow current events, geopolitical movements and economic factors that may affect markets. Technical indicators like RSI and moving average help us discover trend and turning point. We look for a seasonal patterns in commodities influenced by harvest cycle and weather. Discipline is key. Follow our trading plan and avoid emotional decisions is our best decisions. We welcome lifelong learning since financial markets change and it's important to stay current on trading methods, market condition and rules. We remember that trading is risky and that a realistic approach help us overcome challenges and win. In conclusion, our engagement in the futures trading, simulation, proof and reaching despite limited profitability, the experience served as a catalyst for expanding knowledge in the futures group palm oil fcbo and fpsa bursa malaysia klci futures fkli with meticulous curation from reputable sources like the age and news straits times we hone analytical skills particularly in chart analysis using technical indicators empowering us to anticipate market signals and trend lines with precision the incurred losses become valuable lessons, propelling us towards a more profound exploration of futures trading in three cases, instilling resilience and commitment to continuous learning. Looking ahead, we are poised for actual participation in futures trading, aligning with our collective aspiration for further experiences and insights. Our group distinguished itself through astute management of profits, a job control over losses, and a cohesive, harmonious collaboration that fortified our resilience in the dynamic realm of futures trading.